In this video, I'd like to show you how to produce a DJ drop from start to finish. My audio production course is opening to beta testers just a small amount over the Black Friday to Cyber Monday weekend. So if you want to learn everything there is to know about audio production that I can share with you, then go to mrc.fm forward slash learn. That's mrc.fm forward slash learn. It's only open to beta testing from Black Friday to Cyber Monday uh, and only to a limited amount of people. But if you're watching in the future, uh, then go over to mrc.fm slash learn to learn more about my audio production course. Now, in this one, I'm going to drag in a voiceover that says DJ Dan, and DJ we, Dan. Very nice. <laughs> we can do cool stuff like zoom in, loop mode on. DJ and do stuff like that. That might actually work out well in the final production. But DJ Dan, DJ Dan is the name of our DJ there. And I want to show you how to get started really easy uh, using a template that comes with Adobe Audition. But I want you to pimp it up a little bit because uh, it's it's quite a, a flat template, and I'd like to make it pop a little bit more. So new multi-track session. Here, template is set to none, but I'm just going to select DJ Drop. Uh, this is not something that I've installed. This is not one of my presets uh, that are available on the Music Radio Creative website. This is actually included with Audition, but I think there are a few tweaks you can make to the DJ Drop template in Audition uh, to make it pop out and sound better. So let's bring in DJ Dan uh, and put it on the voice chorus. DJ Dan. Okay, quite flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and you see we've got three different vocal effects here. And we got a music track here. Uh, we can actually turn that to be sound effects because I'm probably going to use some sound effects here. And then I'm going to right click track and I'm going to add in a stereo bus track. And then I'm going to route all of the voices through bus A, which I'm actually going to rename in a minute. Bus A. And I'm going to call this DJ Voice mix like that and you see it updates their DJ voice mix uh, and then on the DJ voice mix I'm simply going to pop this out a little bit more using the exciter effect from uh, the mastering effect so we want everything to be on default switch off any EQ we don't want that no reverb no widener no loudness maximizer just focusing on the exciter for the moment DJ Dan and we'll loop this round and pull the exciter up so you can hear how it makes it nice and clear and crispy. DJ Dan. DJ Dan. DJ Dan. Can you hear that works really well on Pete's voiceover? DJ Dan. Nice and clear and crispy compared to DJ Dan. DJ Dan. And then you can use loudness maximizer to further compress this out. DJ Dan. DJ Dan. Really fat sound compared to DJ Dan. And then DJ Dan. Now, if you feel the exciter has pulled out all the fun and all the bassiness and you're not going to be able to rock the speakers in the club that you're DJing at, uh, it's fine. You can just go to low shelf enable and you can actually push this up and push bass right up inside the mastering effect too. Let's try this. DJ Dan. DJ Dan. Now, I don't know about you, but that's rumbling my ears in my, in my headphones now. DJ Dan. DJ Dan. DJ Dan. DJ Dan. DJ Dan. Okay, that's sounding pretty, pretty rocking now. I really like that. Remember, this is only applying to voices. It won't apply to the sound effects you drop in. Sound effects I'm going to pull in uh, from our Music Radio Creative production library. Uh, you can grab this at musicradiocreative.com. Uh, just head into the uh, radio section and look for instant downloads. Now, let's always good to have a good old drone in a DJ drop. And let's see whether we can find a hit as well. Uh, let's bring in those two and see what we've got to start with. So we got something like this. Very simple name check here that's got to sound big, fat, and bassy. DJ, DJ, DJ okay, and we can actually stutter that now over here. So we can go and match those up to the sound effect there. And then uh, holding down Alt or Option on your keyboard, you can add in the fades either end. DJ, DJ. DJ Dan, DJ Dan. And I might actually pan that left and right so it sounds even better. So panning that to the left and panning this to the right. DJ Dan, DJ Dan. And then we're going to double that up. DJ Dan. So we're using the echo effects there. And then we've got Flanger as well. Dan. We'll take Dan and we'll just stretch him out. Time stretching. If you haven't got those white triangles, Switch it on with this clock icon here and 
And that's going to sound fat. DJ Dan. Dan. I'm going to fade that in and maybe space that out a bit more. Dan, Dan. And then we're going to bring this in. And whoop, we're going to need another sound effects uh, track. No worries. Drop it onto the DJ Voice Mix bus and click. You've got a new track. SFX. Let's have a look what's going on here. Now, you've actually got some really cool stuff going on on the sound effects track here. If you want to copy and paste those, it would be great if you could just select them all, uh, Command-C, Command-V, but not quite. <laughs> I wish that was a feature in Adobe Audition. Uh, instead, I'll just have to save these as DJ Drop SFX, like that. Go over to the new track, look for DJ Drop SFX. Here it is. And then we'll solo this. And we're going to go in and we're going to... Pull that out, pull that in, and we've got something like this. DJ Dan. Dan. DJ. Let's actually give that a bit more room to breathe by moving this over a little bit more. Dan. 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 And pull that down in the mix because it's kind of overpowering the Dan. 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 DJ Dan. Dan. And actually, I'm wondering whether to put that in the echo track too and make that echo away. Yeah, I like that. Now, I don't think I want that to rise at the end, so I'm just going to fade that off. Perfect. Fade that out at the end, switch off loop mode, and now we have a fat-sounding DJ drop that, well... Uh, we All we did was get started with the uh, DJ Drop template included with Adobe Audition CC. We fattened it up with a bit of the mastering effect and everything. You notice this is super, super peaky here. Look at this. DJ Dan. Look, look at the peaks on that. Uh, but no worries, when working in 32-bit mixing, it's as easy as normalizing. It'll pull all your spikes down. You won't get any digital clipping. That's the beauty of working in 32-bit mixing. And now... DJ Dan. Dan. We've got a final mix here that we can then go in and add some more mastering as a final step before we give this a spin. Subtle clarity is my favorite. DJ Dan, Dan. And we'll move this open. And yeah, that's nice and fat. That's cool. That's been trimmed at the top. So kind of hard limited by this. DJ. Let's apply. Uh, let's trim this down to size now, switching off preview window. Uh, and what I like to do when I'm trimming something, obviously I look at the waveform, say, okay, that's where it starts, holding shift down, moving this here. I'll then go into spectral frequency to look at exactly the point where the echo ends. And you can see this purple all the way out till here. So I know that I'm trimming around about there. That gives us enough leeway without all this silence at the end. And then it's a simple fact of edit, crop, or command or control and T for trim. Boom, we have our DJ drop. DJ Dan. Dan fully produced, ready to hit the club floor or ready to hit your next DJ mix. Sounding awesome. I hope you enjoy creating your own DJ drop. And if you want to learn all the tricks that I know about audio production, I would love for you to join my audio production course. It's open uh, from Black Friday to Cyber Monday if you're watching at the time of release of this video to beta testers only and only a limited amount too. So make sure to get in over at mrc.fm slash learn. Otherwise, if you're watching in the future, head over to mrc.fm slash learn and join in with my audio production course. <laughs>